Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel or if you're new here then hello, my name is Kate. I have been saying that since I started YouTube I think and I don't know where it came from. I just started saying it and I haven't stopped saying it since. So today's video is a very unplanned daily vlog. I was going to film a H&M haul, a huge order was supposed to arrive on Monday but only half of it has arrived and the other half don't know where it is. So instead I'm just going to have a very chilled out day with you lot. I didn't want to miss an upload because of this. So yeah I actually haven't got anything planned today but despite the H&M order being AWOL I have actually got a big naked order that I did the other day. I've also got some H&M home bits to show you. Oh yeah some bits from Pretty Lavish. Just like new bits in my wardrobe. A lot of this stuff will be in the Black Friday sale and I've actually got a really really good code for naked. I've always said NEKD. Somebody corrected me in my last video saying it's actually naked. So yeah thank you guys for correcting me on that one so yeah let's just spend a cozy day at home together i'm going to show you some bits and um we can have a bit of a catch up as well whilst i am at it keep on getting these really nice whiffs of the new perfume i'm wearing and if you guys love the laura mercier bath honey i think it's in the smell i'm gonna say shade then in the smell almond coconut is it they actually have a perfume version and here it is and it just smells so feminine and and it just reminds me of being in the bath and just being clean because of the association of the smell so i'll pop a link to this down below it actually came let me show you it was actually gifted to me in this lovely laura mercier gift set and you have the body cream the body wash and then the eau de toilette and yeah what a lovely little set this is so perfect for christmas gifting so if you need some gift inspiration then this is a good one. Oh, and also i've got loads of gift guides over on my instagram so i've got some for her some for him loads of different categories they're all in my highlights so make sure you go check them out if you want some inspo oh and another thing guys i ordered a christmas tree skirt and it arrived so i feel like the christmas tree is almost complete still need a little star to go at the top but yeah i was really struggling to find one that would actually fit the christmas tree in because it's quite a big one it's just over seven foot i think it's seven and a half foot i looked at the ones on balsam hill and they were like i think they were 150 pounds which just seems absurd to spend on a christmas tree skirt and then i came across this one which is a willow and it's like a really muted um ashy color which is perfect it just really goes to the apartment um it kind of looks gray on camera but in real life it's more of a like brown gray look at my little angel hello darling this is Pips, if anyone's wondering. Oh, you are just the cutest little button, aren't you? I actually burst out crying yesterday because as you guys know, I've had to keep them separate whilst their hormones calm down. So after you get them neutered, you have to keep them apart for eight weeks. And I put them together for the first time yesterday and they were kissing and snuggling up to each other um, for about 10 minutes. And I just cried because it's like, when you're ki it's like, it's like your baby's not liking each other. It's just really horrible. So now I know how my mum used to feel when my brother and I wouldn't get along. She used to get really upset and I'd be like, why are you upset? Now I understand it. I'll insert a video on the screen, but it was a really lovely moment. So I'm happy they like each other. Lasted about 10 minutes and then Opal got a bit excited and I think he scared Pip, but I'm just so happy at least it's progress and at least I know they can bond. Here is today's very comfortable, cozy at home outfit. This is actually a new set I picked up from H&M. And it's this lovely like ribbed set. So you've got a cardi, which is nice and oversized, and then the matching trousers, and I honestly love it. I'll have this link down below again. Another little homey bit that I ordered from H&M Home is this gorgeous throw, and it's honestly so, so soft. Um, I think this was really inexpensive. I think it was maybe around £20. And yeah, I just love it. They also have this in grey. Again, this would be a really lovely Christmas gift. I just feel like you can never have enough blankets and cosy items. And then the final thing I picked up from H&M Home is this black tray. I actually already have this in the white. And I saw that they have bought in the black. And I just love it. Again, not very expensive. I think it's real marble. It is incredibly heavy. Um... 
I'm not really sure where I'm going to put it, but for now it's just holding my Jo Malone Velvet Rose Oud and my big diptyque handle. So my housemate and best friend B is actually away at the moment. She's on a two week trip in Turkey with work and it's just so quiet around the place it's very odd and i've only really noticed it today because obviously with it being saturday it's normally the day that we spend time together and do like fun things and it's just very quiet but i'm super hungry so i'm gonna make myself some lunch what shall i have i'm gonna have some lentil spinach and dal soup i know it's super lazy but i love these soups um these and the press ones are honestly so good and when it's my lunch it's also the bunny's lunch for lunch they just get a handful of pellets pips come here come here oh hello <laughs> she is so smart is it time for lunch no she'll follow me now is it time for lunch 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 She'll just circle me until I give it to her. Is it time for your lunch? Are you so excited? Really weird question, but one of my most asked questions is where do the bunnies, like, where's their cage? And obviously they don't have a cage. They just have a little area for food, which is here. Um, and then the litter tray, which is there. And yeah, that's it. And they don't smell at all. Um, they only smell if you don't clean the litter out. So I'd clean the litter out every couple of days. And yeah, they're all good. So enjoy your lunch honey and I'm gonna go make mine. I'm also gonna pop some cauliflower hash browns in the oven as well. Um, if you haven't had these, you need to try them. They are a game changer as it says right here. It tastes like normal like hash browns but I think they're healthier. Um, I mean I assume they're healthier. And then also I've just remembered that I ordered this which is a raspberry white chocolate cookie kit and you freeze it and then pop it in the oven. I actually don't think I'll do this now, I'll do this another time, but I just wanted to show you that. Okay, I finished my lunch and I thought I'd crack on and do, um, I was gonna say an AKD, a naked haul for you all. I work with them over on my Instagram. This video isn't sponsored or this isn't an ad, but as part of the collaboration, we do get given a gift card to use every month. And they've actually given me a 30% off discount. I normally get 20, but it's 30 because of Black Friday. And I just thought it's such a good discount. So I'm gonna show you what I picked up. I absolutely love their clothes. And it's actually a brand that I kind of really discovered recently when they reached out. Prior to that, I hadn't purchased from them in years. And I went onto the website, had a look at the clothes to see you know, if I wanted to do the collab or not. And I was so shocked at the amount of such nice clothes. Like, you know when you're overwhelmed because you just want everything? That's how I felt. So yeah, now I'm working with them a little bit more long term. I just feel really lucky because I just love the stuff so much. Anyway, I'm going to stop waffling. Debating if I should sit down and show you or show you in the mirror. I'm going to show you in the mirror because I feel like it's easier to talk about the clothes whilst you're wearing them. I'm going to start off with one of my favourites from the haul, which is this amazing coat. And this outfit just feels so Christmassy and kind of like winter wonderlandy. The coat feels really good quality. It is double lined, got two big pockets and it's like that oversized, slightly slouchy fit. But I really like the length on it. It's like not cropped, but not a long line coat either. And I've just paired this with the mango outfit that I've shown you guys a few times already. The mango boots that I am just in love with. So yeah, I'll link everything, including this outfit down below. I also picked up the coziest scarf ever. This is an alpaca wool, and it's like that really big oversized, like blanket scarf kind of thing. Look how wide it is, it's still got the tag on it. Um, but it feels just like a cashmere. I also have this in grey already and I just love it so much. It's actually just like the H&M blanket I showed you, but obviously just for the use of a scarf. And then another new coat addition, which you probably would have already seen on my Instagram if you follow me on there. I styled this up with a black knit and black boots underneath, but it actually looks really good with cream underneath as well, just where the checkered cream in the coat really ties it in nicely. I really love this coat. I feel like it's very traditional, very classic. Um, it's the perfect amount of oversized. I actually don't know what size I've got this in, let's see. I find naked quite hard sizing wise because it's in EU sizes. And also sometimes things can come so, so oversized. 
Um, so I've kind of learned to always go true to size unless I want it to be really big. Um, so I'm wearing this in a size 36. Next up we have this plain black puffer. I've actually already got a very, very similar one from New Look, but I started using it for horse riding and honestly it stinks of horses and I just can't wear that out. Um, so I just wanted one for every day as well because it's just my go-to. I've still got pockets, yeah. This kind of jacket is just my go-to in the winter. So easy if you want to be warm. It's waterproof as well and I wear this in a size 36. Next up we have this gorgeous knitted jumper. It's kind of like a modern tape on your traditional cable knit because as you can see the pattern is just slightly different. But I really loved the big sleeves as you can see they're kind of like that slightly bell shaped and I just thought that this was super cozy really lovely um it's not at all itchy as well so you can wear this without anything underneath if you want to and this one was in a small medium I probably could go up a size just for the length it's not overly long but that's perfect if you want to like tuck it in slightly into jeans and stuff like that I've just realized I'm not wearing any necklaces and I feel so naked um I took them off earlier to tan not that I look very tanned I feel like this lighting is not doing me any favours. Um, anyway, this is the next jumper and I just think this is so gorgeous. Um, if I move my hair, as you can see it's like really nice bardo, shoulders out and then it has this like folded over section across the bust. If I come up closer can you see? But it's this lovely ribbed material, super super soft and I just really love a knitwear that can be elevated. You could wear this out for dinner, still be really cosy and warm but it just has that little something extra. I also love how long the sleeves are, you can put them right over your hands and I know it's a bit of an Ariana Grande thing to do but I just love, I love a long sleeve and I can't explain why. Next up we have a bit of a boring basic but I really love any KD basics just because they really fit well. I have this top in a couple of different colours already and this is like a minky, nude, slightly pinky undertoned um, like classic top. I just really like it. It's good for lounging around the house, add trackies to them or of course you can layer as well for your winter outfit. If I come up close you'll be able to see it's like that nice cozy ribbed material. I also picked up a few bits from Pretty Lavish, this being one of them. This first top is quite similar to that naked bardo black knit I showed you earlier. It's just that really nice like elevated knitwear and this one is from the collection they did with Chloe Lloyd and it's just such a stunning piece. Again it's really really soft, it kind of hugs your shoulders in and you have this lovely neck detail with the half fold going across and then one shoulder covered, one shoulder out and then slight bell sleeves as well. You could really easily dress this up for dinner, it actually goes quite well with the leather trousers I have on now and then if you add like some heels, do your hair and makeup quite glam, it'll end up looking like a glam outfit or it's like a more smart at home piece because it is so comfortable. You could pair with some nice wide leg tailored trousers and have that smart but comfortable look going on. Next up we have this dress that I have admittedly been living in since I've had it. It's just so gorgeous. It's really feminine, really comfortable. I have it in the chocolate brown colour but they also have black and cream. And for me this is just exactly what I love to wear when I work from home because I feel quite smart and I still feel put together but it's just so comfortable and I think the way it draws in at the waist with the little tie just shows the figure a little bit more without being too tight and I also love the sleeves as well the way they come in at the end so yeah I am very tempted to get this in the other colours as well because yeah I have absolutely worn this to death in the week that I have owned it. Before I forget to mention as well, my code is Kate, I think it has two E's and then 30, but I'll pop it up on the screen and I'll pop it down below in the description box along with all the links. Good evening guys, it's now a bit later. I've been sat on the sofa with a cup of tea watching this new YouTube channel that I've discovered and I am just obsessed. It's, um, let me show you. It's an interior design channel. Um, what's her name? Her name is Sophie Patterson. Um, and yeah, she's basically just a really high-end interior designer. She does really beautiful apartments in like Chelsea, Mayfair, um, Knightsbridge, and I just love her style. And it's just making me so excited to have my own place and be able to do it exactly how I want it to do, want it to be and do like all the finishings and everything. So, little update on buying a apartment. Um, I think last time I spoke to you guys, I told you that I was going through like the exchange process. 
and I actually had like this whole week I've had really cold feet basically the apartment that I'm trying to buy it's perfect in terms of space um location's really good and the price is really good as well i haven't seen a property of this size i'm not saying it's huge it's definitely not huge it's similar size to what we're in now but um just with one extra added bedroom and i haven't seen a property of this price like ever and i was always thinking there must be some sort of catch um the only thing that's a negative is that it doesn't have underground parking but i'm kind of willing to compromise somewhere because i feel like you just have to with these things and then something else popped up the other day and i was like maybe this is the catch and i can't say it unless i want to literally give away the location of the flat but basically i realized that it's located next to something that can sometimes be very noisy and um obviously where i film from home i work from home i kind of need it to not be i kind of need it to be quite quiet so that was a bit of a concern i got really cold feet and i was like thinking about maybe, maybe pulling out but so what i've been doing this week is just weighing up the pros and cons seeing if it actually would be very noisy how often it would be noisy during the day during the year and yeah just trying to get to a bit more of a conclusion and i've also been just looking on right move like constantly trying to see if there is anything that compares and there just isn't anything that compares which is a bit of an issue so i have decided that i am going to go ahead and go through with it and it just feels like such a huge decision the next step is to put down the deposit which will be over the next month i think that will happen and it will definitely feel a little bit more real once that's done anyway that was a very long tangent i need to get ready because i'm leaving in about 10 minutes to go hopefully ice skating i tried to book tickets at the ice rink in somerset house but it's fully booked but they did say that if you turn up sometimes they have extra tickets so it might go ice skating if not gonna have a little walk around covent garden because at the moment they have this like pretend snow machine and it looks so christmasy and gorgeous and then might head out for some food after so it's just gonna be very chilled christmasy nice evening i don't know how much i'm gonna vlog because i don't want to be antisocial but i'll try and show you guys bits and bobs ignore the terrible lighting but this is my outfit got that naked coat on this knit is an old one from h&m leather trousers and my christian dior boots and obviously my chanel bag Hello guys, happy Sunday. I had such a fun time last night. London around Christmas time is just my favourite thing ever. We did try and go ice skating, but it was fully booked. That's a lesson for next time. Definitely need to book way, way in advance. Um, anyway, it's a gorgeous sunny Sunday. My plan today is just to work from home. I've got some real ideas that I want to shoot. I've got a couple of ads to film that will go live on my Instagram next week. So yeah, I'll try to show you guys as much behind the scenes as I possibly can. I always struggle with this though. I'm thinking of filming like a what I would wear to Winter Wonderland as I did this on my TikTok and <laughs> I misunderstood the assignment. Let's just say that. I've actually only ever been to one Winter Wonderland once and I was there for like 30 minutes. So it wasn't very Winter Wonderland appropriate. And I'm going to do something a little bit more appropriate, which is going to be one of these two outfits. Might do the one that I was wearing yesterday or this lovely knit here, which is from Dorothy Perkins. Um, oh my God, as well. I was going to save these boots for the haul, but I have to show you guys on the vlog quickly because they are insane. These are from H&M. They are like this leather and then they have this puffer coat material, squishy. And then the inside is my favorite bit because the inside is fully faux fur lined and it's just so snug and cozy. Oh my god, a quick distraction, but I actually can't deal when he flops over like this. Just the cutest little bean, aren't you? Are you the cutest little bean? Yes. Just had to wrestle him to the ground because he had like a bit of plastic or something like fully stuck to his lip. I couldn't get it off. Let's ignore the chaos in the background, but I'm on my second outfit. Um, it's this really cute little number. Honestly, it's impossible to film and be clean at the same time. It's just... It's just never gonna happen. I also set myself out to just do a really simple, easy reel, maybe one outfit, because I've got a lot more to get through today. 
and I've suddenly turned this into a full on like 10 outfit haul. And I honestly don't know why I do it to myself because I'm, I've got stuff to do, but we're here now and I can't stop. So let's go. We're now onto outfit number four, I think. It's this lovely, all creamy number, um, new look coat, naked scarf, naked jumper, new look leather leggings and Everlane boots. Okay, six outfits later, I'm done. I'm probably gonna only use about like four of them, um, but it's good to have options. Now, look, look at this mess. This is just horrific. Thing is though, I have such a small window of light and I've just gotta rush and do it as quickly as I can and then leave the mess to afterwards. Guys, it is a few hours later. I'm currently wrapped up in that H&M blanket. Um, I have been editing the footage for the last few hours and I can't decide if I hate it. I don't know if I've looked at it too much. Um, if I do hate it, then that's a really big fat waste of an afternoon. So I hope it's okay. I've sent it to B, and I know that B will always give me an honest opinion. So see what she says. And there's honestly nothing I wanna do more right now than to have a shower, shave, moisturize, clean sheets, like really Sunday vibes. And some candles, some classical music, but um, I've just got so much to do. And what I do when I feel like I've got too much to do and it's gonna take me ages is I put on a timer. I ask Alexa to put on like a 20 minute timer and I just like smash through it as quick as I can. And that normally does the trick. If you're watching this vlog, I would have posted the reel if I like it by now. And if there's no reel on my page, then it means I didn't like it and I didn't post it. So um, yeah. As long as we're together, everything we do, you got me going spent a lot of time chatting to you guys on this sofa in this video. I've just ordered myself some sushi and I'm really excited. Um, I found this new sushi place called Sushi 54, I think it is, it's on Deliveroo. Um, and the sushi's so good. I feel like it's quite hard to find good takeaway sushi, like often it's just really naff. And I'm gonna have a little FaceTime with B. I I think she just messaged me here actually. Cause I'm missing her so much and I can rack her brains on if the rain is good or not basically. I'm also aware that I've worn this set two days in a row, but it was um, as part of the reel, I was wearing it and I just don't wanna take it off. So here it is. We have got chops. I think these are the goyozas, veggie goyozas, miso soup, cucumber maki, and I believe this is tempura. Oh my God, this looks so good. Let's say hello to the vlog. Hello. <laughs> everyone's missing you, I think. Huh? I think everyone's missing you. Aww. You bring the spice to the vlogs. I do, don't I? Spicy. Spicy. Um, how are the bun buns? Are they friends? Mm, we're doing a small bonding sessions, so like they'll have 10 minute bonding Aww. sessions, but then Opal gets a bit excited and then he tries to have sex with. Just had a lovely catch up with B. She told me to post the reel, so you'll see that on my Instagram tonight. And yeah, I'm gonna wrap this vlog up here. I really wanna vlog longer, but it's actually seven o'clock on a Sunday and I would like to get this video up for eight o'clock. So I'm gonna have to end it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Look out for my next video, which will be on Thursday, which will be a haul for Black Friday and then hopefully Sunday as well. So yeah, it'll be a busy week. I love you all so, so, so much and I'll see you next time. Bye. Mwah.